This is my Skywatcher ED80 Pro Series telescope. It's a refractor. It is a apochromatic refractor, meaning that uh, it has tried to minimize the false color. And um, I have to say that it has succeeded in that. It has a 3.1 uh, inch uh, objective lens, which is equal to 80 millimeter, and a focal length of the 600 millimeters, and uh, is made in China, as you can see here. This makes the focal ratio of this telescope at f7.5. Uh, as you can see, I see two reflections in the lens, and that means it has two elements. One of them is the ED glass, means a uh, low dispersion glass. It means it, it doesn't disperse the uh, light like a prism, which is better than a normal glass, which acts like a prism and causes a chromatic aberration. That makes this telescope a apochromatic telescope. It was introduced in 2003 in, and appeared in the Sky Watcher catalog. And uh, it has a FPL 53 ED glass, which makes it apochromatic. It tried to look like a, uh, a cheaper version, but uh, in poor performance equal probably to a, a Teleview refractor, uh, 85 millimeter one. And it seems it has succeeded. Even the uh, focus knobs look very similar to the one that you see in the uh, Teleview refractor. Let me show you the catalog page of the new version of this. This is the OVL catalog which represents a skull watcher in the UK. As you can see the tube is now what they call as black diamond. The name is Evo Star ATED. In the US, you know it as Orion. The Celestron one is the same. They're all built in the same uh, optical laboratory in China. And as you can see, it has a double uh, uh, speed focuser, as you can see here. It's a double speed, uh, dual speed uh, focuser, Crayford. Where the original gold version, which is this one, has only single focus, single speed focuser. Uh, some people have mentioned uh, that the focuser gets a little bit loose after a while and the tube, when you put something on it, uh, the draw tube comes back or slides back or forward, so you lose focus. The cure for this, there was many things mentioned. I found the easiest one and the most accurate actually is to go and just uh, tighten up these screws. I removed the screws first, I cleaned it up, then uh, tightened it back. That's it. It's as good as new. The telescope comes in this uh, lovely aluminium hard case and it has some accessories uh, including the this uh, two inch uh, star diagonal a 28 millimeter two inch uh, sky watcher eyepiece and uh, optional, you can go for also a uh, field flattener uh, for astrophotography if you want. And also a, a finder scope. I have misplaced it out. I have to look for it. I have not found it for, I've not seen it for a while. I will find it eventually. And uh, this way you can actually carry it in an easy package. Uh, small enough to, you know, carried with you even in a, when you go to travel. The telescope is equal, in my experience, a 80 millimeter refractor is equal to a, a 150 millimeter reflector, Newtonian. And I have several videos actually which proves that for an object like the Jupiter. And I've also compared it with uh, another Sky Watcher, Sky Max, uh, Maxot of 150. And uh, they, 
match the visual clarity of the details on the planet Jupiter. Uh, the telescope weighs uh, 3.25 uh, kilograms, which is equal to 7.1 pounds if you use the imperial units. I try uh, not to use it with a diagonal or go straight through Japanese style observing which is it adds to really to the clarity optical clarity but when I want to use a diagonal I use this astrophysics max right which is really good and uh, this is the one that I prefer the focuser is very nice and it works really fine it gives you reassurance it stays very true to stay so i really like it and this is loose completely look this is loose so really nice focuser you can have the latest version which has this dual uh, speed focuser but this one is adequate for me Let's look through this eyepiece. I think Skullwatcher has nailed it with this uh, upper chromatic telescope. This is really good uh, refractor. It has everything and it shows you everything that a much uh, higher priced uh, refractor will show you. And I'm pleased with this. And uh, I use this uh, telescope because it's such a good standard uh, achieved in the manufacture of this. For testing all the eyepieces that I uh, get and I want to show you how they are. Uh, so you will have a uniform, uh, you know, benchmark which has not changed. It's all with the Skywatcher ED80 Pro Series Gold version. I use uh, the Sky T2 uh, Altazimuth mount for this. Uh, I'm able to use one clamp here for one telescope another clamp for another telescope and if i remove it put another clamp here three telescopes i can use on this at once and it is on the column extension and the eq5 uh, uh, tripod you can buy this upper chromatic refractor in the uk for two or 529 pound uh, a telescope, a refractor like the Teleview 85mm F7 refractor costs you 2100 That's around four times more than this. And if you buy it second hand from places like uh, eBay and uh, UK Astro Buy and Sell or the American version or forums, you may get it cheaper. Uh, just recently one sold uh, of this gold version with all the accessories, the box and everything for around 300 pounds, so you save a lot on that. Uh, that's, that's another choice that you have. All in all, this telescope is a good one. I can use it anytime I want. It doesn't cost me a lot, uh, so it doesn't stop me from using it. I've been worried that it may fall or anything. It's just not that expensive. It delivers on many aspects. I can travel with this. And in many ways, it is a bargain. My last thought is that if you have uh, more sense than money, this is the refractor telescope for you, especially for visual.